Hi, Bill here, and today I'll be reviewing KBB MP21 Plus. Uh, I don't know who on earth it's by, uh, Beetle Wasp. Okay, uh, basically, this is just a third party oversized uh, version of the masterpiece, uh, G1 Masterpiece Bumblebee. Okay. Uh, it's made by KBBMP, so well, obviously MP's masterpiece, but the KBB, but I don't know who it's by, but it's Beetle Wasp. Uh, it just says KBB model. <laughs> so there it is, there, there's back there, there's Beetle Wasp there, and there's parts there, radar display, figure there, and there's the accessories you get with it. You get the Jetpack and all these other bits and bobs there. That's one good thing. Oh, and you get the battle mask. Because there it is there, and there's his face there. Uh, face show figure, you get the extra face with it. You can swap out the actual face for that kind of weird battle mask. It makes him look like got, but anyway. And he's got that weird long tube thing there, or whatever it is. It looks like a lightsaber kind of thing. And there he is there, product shot with the backpack on and everything. And that's it there. Okay. Uh, you get a shot there as well. It does have metal parts and all, so it's a wage yang ish and that. It's, this, is, this is not wage yang, right? But it's like that, that it's upscaled. It does have metal parts and off the original. And there's all the stuff in the bottom. There's that. It's by KBB or KB Models, whatever. Oh, I think that's what it says in the front. Aye, KBB model, whoever they are. But that's basically by them. Okay. Uh, not super for th shirt on. And there we go. It says that right in there. And there we go. So, without further ado, uh, oh, it was by eBay seller. That's a big long name. That one there. Uh, Wang Mo Jing Pin 1220 and in brackets 547. So if you go on to his uh, Wang Mo Jing, uh, if you go into that eBay sellers page, you'll see, as you can see there, I genuinely got it. It's not, not, it's not going to rip you off, or the seller's not going to rip you off. It def definitely comes through with items. So thank you, seller. Uh, one Mo Jing Pin one two two zero. Uh, thank you. Uh, for the item, really cool. I know. I, I don't, why did I not get the original? Because again, I would prefer the Wei Jiang style up scale, and uh, it's got metal parts. You know, which the original doesn't have. The mas original masterpiece one doesn't have. Other thing it doesn't come with is Spike and his exosuit. That's the downside, but maybe uh, you can either get that loose, or you have to pay eBay, eBay scalpers prices for that, or maybe a later release of this will come out with it, or maybe as uh, an upgrade thing they might uh, bring a... KO style up, up scale one of that out as well. I don't know at some later stage this company or whoever it is might do one of Spike and Exosuit. You never know. Okay, but that this is what it gets. This is what you get with it. So I'll get the thing out of the packaging and show you all the extras and the vehicle itself. Okay, I don't have the original, so I've got nothing to compare it to. Uh, I've just got this. Right, so here he is out of the packaging, looking pretty cool. Uh, he actually comes across as more orange than yellow. He's more of an orange, he's definitely orange. I know, I don't, I don't know how this is coming across on the camera, but actually when I'm looking at it, it's actually coming out more yellow than orange on the camera. He's actually more orange than, than he is, because that, that there is to me is orange, but that's coming out more yellow on the camera. Weird, but <laughs> it's picking up yellower than, than what I'm actually seeing it with my actual eyes. So it is more orange, but the the kind of darker shade orange and the 
the metal parts are actually a lighter shade than, than the plastic. That's plastic, that's metal, that's metal there, that's plastic, that's plastic, that's plastic, there, plastic, plastic, that's metal. So that section there's all metal and the, the bonnet section is metal, but that's plastic. And there, so the different shades, the lighter shades is the metal parts and the darker is the plastic stuff. So yeah, he has got a little bit of weight heft on because all oh, this is all metal. That section there, but he is coming across two, two different colours. You can see that, but that's coming across as more yellow than it is. It's actually more orange. That's definitely orange at the back. <coughs> so you've got sitting in packaging here. Uh, so he's he's definitely not uh, completely properly yellow like the. Like the, what this is supposed to be an upscale one of or the masterpiece bumblebee. It's obviously more yellow than this is, but hey, it's, it's still it is what it is. It's still, still pretty cool, even for what it is. And you get and accessories is where this thing excels. I don't know what the masterpiece came with, but you've got this. You can actually take this off. See, you get a little gap there. You can actually put this bit in, it's like a number plate thing, it doesn't have any letters on it or nothing. You put that in there, and that, you can have the number plate. See, you take it out, and you put the wheel back on, so you've got a choice of either the wheel or the number plate. Cool little accessory. Again, you want to, whether you get repro labels, I don't know what repro labels come out for, something like this, but you can maybe put a number plate on there. I don't know, but uh, you can put the wheel on it if you want the spare wheel. It fits on there. <coughs> Quite the thing. Right, on to other accessories. You get different faces. You get that face. That, that face there. That's got a kind of open mouth type thing going on there. Right, or you get this face. You get that there. Oh, I'm trying to set this face up now. So it focuses in on that. There we go. We get that kind of grimace. Oh. See that kind of uh, grimace there. That face there. He probably comes on with a battle mask one that looks like a uh, got. Uh, so it probably comes with that uh, on the head anyway. But you can swap them out for one of these other two faces, which is pretty cool. That's accessory, you get the satellite bit. That's a satellite there thing there. He's actually got um if I can zoom in, he's got two peg holes either side. See he's got, he's got two peg holes either side. It's a little tab bit, and you can actually fit a bunch of these on. They're sort of like the kind of solar panels. But it does have a little nib there, a little nib there for the peg, so you can only go it on one way, you can't rotate it. And there's various kinds, you either have it up, or you have it down, you have it up against the body, close into the body of a satellite dish thing, or you have it uh, far away. So you get various different ones, you can, configurations you can put on there. I'll, I'll put some on now just to show you. You can have this one on here, like that. Right, and you can have one uh, close to the body. <laughs> Dropped it. You can have one close to the body like this, like that. Or you can have it equal on either side. Or you can have it in different configurations. There's enough solar panels there to get different configurations, okay? So you get a bunch of those with it. You get this weird lance thing, whatever it is. I still don't know what that's for. I don't remember I'm using this in G1 cartoons. I don't know if the masterpiece comes with this, the original. I've no idea what on earth this thing is. But it comes with it anyway. And he comes with his weapon. Oh, and... Oh, and last but not least... Uh, he comes with his backpack, his jetpack. That's the jetpack there. Uh, these are a bit loose, but I'm sure when the tab onto the body, they'll be 
quite secure. Uh, it's very hollow, but it's straight back there. Okay, obviously again, no spike exosuit, but maybe that will, oh, a later uh, version of this will come out with a one or maybe they'll do it as an upgrade kit, or maybe these will bring out a spike at a later stage, whoever does this uh, knockoff, uh, oversized knockoff. Okay, so I better set all that aside. Oh, of course you get instructions. A big booklet here. There it is. It's all inside. It shows all the accessories and the orange. It's, that's coming across better as orange. It's kind of orange that it is. And what the actual thing shows. There you got all the instructions there. And you get it there as well. So, there it is. And how to attach the backpack. And there. Probably how shows you brief out to swap out the different faces. Okay, so that's basically that. So now on to the vehicle and I'll have to get it transformed. Move that stuff out the road. Okay. So let's get them transformed. You take the back tire off. Set it aside. Uh best thing to do is you can take the back out his head lives in there you can see uh, the thing just falls apart anyway you take them off the front off you take the whole door section out take the whole door section out these are the legs straighten out the legs we'll, we'll do the legs first since we've got the legs out okay right that's a metal bit. You fold it over. It seems to be a lot of Wei Jiang style. And you notice it isn't not Wei Jiang. And there's a tab set. There's a it fits into that cutout section uh, right there. It just fits in there. It doesn't tab in. It just sits on that. It's cut out for that to sit in there. And that's it. Basically, just stays there. It's quite stiff. It will stay there. And you do the same with the other side. Straighten out the leg. Rotate the... Oh, you untab that. There's a tab. Fits in there, by the way. You can go back to vehicle mode. See that slot there? Uh, it's difficult to see the slots in these. Uh, there's a tab. That fits in there. You see the tab there? Just fits in that slot there. So when you're putting it back to vehicle mode, that tab lives in that slot there to line everything back up. It just goes in that slot there like that, okay. So, that's on the metal part, that's a metal tab. So in case you think, oh it's a plastic, it might break, that's the metal part. Okay, so push that one over and close it over like that. Fold over the wheels, fold them away, collapse the wheels, and they just live in there like that. They just live in there like that. And that's basically the legs done. Right. Um, move that in there like that. Now you see that. Difficult to see that. There. There's a huge big gap there. That is going to fit in there. Fold it over like that. And it fits in that huge slot there. Massive giant slot in there. And push that whole lot forward like this. And there we go, that's that section done. Now the arms. The arms you unhook from there. You unhook them out like that. That's the arms there. I'll do that again because it was off short. Unhook the arms, push them out like that. Uh, this is on the rotational joint. Move it up like that. Rotate it. Fold that section over and push it all the way down in there. See, I get that bit that was off camera. Rotate it, fold that section over and push it down there. And then below the two prongs there, just sit it down in there like that. And there's the head. 
There's the head there, it has got the battle mask on it. Okay, so we're nearly done. Unhook the arms. Lift these sections up. The tail light sections like that. Unhook the arms. There they are there. Now, I'll show you where the arms fit in. There's a notch there, and there's a big tab there. So when you're putting it all back together, angle it, it'll fit on that tab there. Uh, well, when it does go in, <laughs> it goes in like that, and push the tail light out like that. I think that tail light, I, don't know, is it, I think it's plastic. It is plastic, I thought it was metal. Because it's a different colour from that. So I thought that was actually metal. Is it metal? It might be metal actually. It might be metal because it's a weird, a different colour from the, from that. That's plastic. That's a different shade of colour. So it might be metal. I don't know. If not, it's a different shade of plastic. It's on there. But it does look a different shade. So it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't, doesn't feel like it's metal, it feels like it's plastic, but I don't know if it's metal or not. It's difficult to tell. If not, it's a different shade of plastic, okay? So it, it just goes away there. So take that off of there, and do the same on the other side, just pull it off that peg there. Right, push these bits down into there, to the body. Stay a bit down. They don't tab in anywhere, unfortunately. They just live down there. And you're nearly there. Yeah, this bit likes to come loose because it doesn't tab in. It just lives back there. Unfortunately, the KO, they don't tab in the same extent as the masterpiece ones might. Right, take the fists out. The fists come out like that. They're not on a rotational joint. So you cannot rotate them. Pull the fist out like that. That bit's on a rotational joint. That rotates. That rotates like that. And there you basically have Bumblebee right there. There he is there. I'm trying to stand him up correctly. That's Bumblebee there. There he is. Again, he's looking more yellow on the thing than he is to the naked eye so there we go so basically that's him right articulation first and then I'll show you the different things you can do with it okay looking really cool actually looks not bad that looks really cool for a kind of G-ish one bumblebee that's knocked off from a masterpiece thing okay right up down ball joint Rotate right around there, uh, bends at the elbow. There's a rotation at that swivel bit there, but that's for transformation purposes anyway. Rotate that, uh, no rotation at the wrist. Uh, same with the other arm, does the same. Head is in a ball joint, a big ball joint. Look up, look up and down, uh, it's a very big one, so you can do that. Legs, nice ratchet joints, bends at the knee, you can definitely bend at the knee, and you get a tight, you get some uh, ankle tilt there. There's some ankle tilt going on there, so you can get ankle tilts going on. It goes right out to KO, ankle tilt there, it goes back and forth slightly as well. So you get a good range of motion. Oh, and of course, he has a waist rotation. It goes right around. So yes, he does come with a waist rotation, which is really cool. So basically you can have them. That's basically the transformation joints there anyway, so you get really cool uh, movements in the legs. You can bend the leg right over, right up, like that. And can the only niggle is these pits just sit back there, they don't actually lock in, they don't tab in anywhere, which is annoying, but what can you do, it is a KO after all, you know, but a very good one, like that, 
Right, so that's basically what you can do. You can have in all sorts of stances and poses that the articulation will allow and it looks really cool. Right, now on to the face swap gimmick. Um, put the Grimace one on. People seem to like the Grimace one better than the... So what you have to do is just push that bit forward. Oh, the thing likes to... What you want to do is just push it forward with your nail if you get any thumbnails. Um, it did come out earlier. Doesn't want to come out now. Well, there you go. Take it out. It does come off easy. That's it there. Two little pegs back there. You're left with that. And you just push the new face on there. Just push it into thing way. And there you got your new face on. See? You just do the same if you want the other face. You want the other face, put the other put the other face on that there's and with a new face. Okay, we'll leave that one on, but you just do the same, whatever other face it comes with you want to attach. That's it, very simple, just push it out, put it on. It's not that difficult. Or if you feel it's difficult, use a knife or a screwdriver or something like that. A flat headed one to uh, prize that out. It's not that difficult to take out. Okay, so the other accessory you get is a kind of satellite dish thing. Oh, I'll show you the configuration of satellite dish. It's on the actual box for a minute, right? I'll show this. It does show it on the box. Because uh, there it is, there. There's a satellite dish there. So you can have it straight up with that, the panels. You can have it up and out like that, the pan line. You can have it straight out like that, the panel. So that's for the radar. So the radar, it looks like a satellite dish to me. Uh, like a satellite to me, rather than, um, I keep saying satellite dish, satellite. But it looks more like a satellite to me than a radar, but you can have the panel straight out, up at an angle, or straight up like that, both sides. That's where so you can have it. Okay, I've, I've just got it kind of weird light like that. Uh, that has, I don't know if you can see that, it has a kind of, uh, there's a cut out at one side, like a T, it's difficult to see that. It might not stand out so much. Uh, there's a little T, half T at one side, and it fits on that there. Uh, I don't know if you actually can actually see that. It actually fits on there from the back. So you can move this backpack section out the road. Just get it lifted it back and push this thing on there like that. Just slide it along that section there. Now with the, whatever, whatever side the cutout T is, you can put it that side as well. You might have to push it that way in. You push it that side, whatever side the half T's on and that's just line it up and put it on that side and of course you can have your panelling in whatever configuration you want and there he is with the radar dish on there so there you go now that bit there okay that's it there I'll show you what fits in there he's got his little walkie talkie little bit there and it just plugs in there. Um, just fits in there nice and snug. It does stay in, so it won't fall out. And he's got his walkie-talkie. He can actually talk to his walkie-talkie when he's there. Uh, there's one on the other side, as you can imagine. So you can put it on either side. There is a little... Uh, cut out section there for the walkie talkie to fit and it doubles as the peg uh, slot as well for 
when you have it in vehicle mode. So yeah, it has two uses. It's good that it has a, a secondary use rather than just being a peg hole. Okay, so really cool that. Uh, you can put that little lance thing, whatever you want to call it, in his hand. It's not easy. I'll try it. I don't know. You can try and put it on there. It's not easy. There it is. And his fist. It's really difficult. It has kind of weird swirly, right? Uh, swirly symbols on it. I don't know if you can actually see it. Pick that up. Oh, it's not. I want to pick that up. Uh, I want to zoom into the background. I don't know why it wants to zoom into the background, but it does. But it does have weird s symbols on it. It just wants to keep zo zooming into the background, so... Uh, I can't, I can't get it. Just seem to want to zoom in, but it does have weird kind of swirly uh, symbols on it. There, that's the best I can do. See that the symbols? It's kind of weird. Uh, don't, don't ask me what it is. Probably Cybertron. It's supposed to be. I can only surmise. So you can make up your own idea of what it is. But there we go. That's pretty cool. I'll get him to hold his gun. Can never take this out of here. It's, well jammed in there, give me a sec. There he is holding his gun. He's got his wee gun. I don't know where to store his gun in vehicle mode. I think there's a bit underneath you can store it. I haven't found that yet. I've seen a review and they managed to store it underneath somehow. Somebody did reviewing this figure, but I can't, I, the life of me, I can't remember where. There's no way you can actually peg it in. So I'll need to find that out. It doesn't say in the instructions in case you thought it did. No, it doesn't. Uh, but I'm sure there's a way of storing it underneath in vehicle mode. Uh, but there's with his gun. Now comes the best part. I'll have to take the radar dish off for this. Hold on a minute. Right, the best part is his backpack. So what you want to do is the same tabs you put the radar dish on. There's slots there. There's two slots there, they go over the top there and fit onto there. They don't fit on that securely on this actually. I feel the top ones are actually a lot looser. See, it won't stay on there. They don't sit, they don't actually peg in very tight on this. It's, it should uh, feel, so you got, the best way to do is hold it down. Now these, I have to move the arms out of the road, the tabs there. And there's a cutout bit, oh god, to show you the cutout bit. There's a kind of angled slot right there, I don't know if you can actually see that, pick it up right there. And the tab is just going to sit inside of that there. It's just, that's just going to fit over that tab I just showed you earlier on there. Same with the other side, okay. But there's a pain in the back side because the top tabs, this thing just sits on them, it doesn't stay tabbed in well, obviously the original MP would be, I remember a lot, oh, what was that, oh that's his walkie talkie going away, uh, everyone would fit in a lot tighter, so, just got to fit that in there like that, just fits over it like that, and uh, you do the same with the other side, it'll just fit over it like that, these are actually more, more secure at the bottom than it is the top, I think that helps, keeps the top in, and that's him with his backpack, his jetpack on his, on his uh, arm. So there he is, that's him there, ready for flight, that's it there, it fits over, quite a thing. I do love, that's the one thing I can actually forgive, not having Spike in the exosuit is, the amount of accessories you get with this guy. Like I said, I don't know how many accessories you get with them, with the actual masterpiece where you get the faces uh, and you get that, you don't get that lance thing, I can't imagine. I don't know if you get the kind of uh, radar dish with the different panels on it for putting in different configurations, but if 
you don't get some of these things with this that you do with the original uh, then you know that's that's something but I know I would have liked a spike in exosuit as well but clearly they haven't done one yet for this so this is what we're, we're left with but it's still pretty cool having that amount of accessories as well if even if the original didn't have as many as what this has it's still pretty cool so there we go so yeah there he is there backpack on ready for flight looking pretty cool as you can see yeah pity that like, the top ones see it's the top ones that are the problem because they just sit in there they don't stay uh, and they're not in there very tight the bottom ones are the ones that hold the whole thing together uh, they, they're in there pretty tight okay so I'll take this off I'll get them back to uh, vehicle mode okay so here he is back in his vehicle mode it rolls really well as well you know so it's pretty cool with the Bumblebee movie coming out you know a lot of people want a a G1 Bumblebee of some, some description whether it's a masterpiece one genuine whether it's a knockoff upscale with kind of way jangish style thing with metal parts like this or maybe they just go for the original or whatever or the original Wii Bumblebee came out or whatever but you know with the, or the wait for the movie release of the G1 style one which can be used in the new movie but you know everyone's going for some sort of one because it will be all the rage with all the news coming out the look of the Bumblebee that looks like this but well basically it's old Volkswagen isn't it but uh, yeah so everybody will want uh, one of some descript so there we go so that's pretty cool uh, I even the headlights look really cool there see they're painted on but they look really cool and uh, the back of it looks cool I'll get uh, you can see all the kibble in there you can see the kibble underneath like I said I don't know where you put the gun because there's no place I can see where you would peg the gun into. I'm sure uh, there was some place you could store the gun. M maybe I'm wrong, but I, th I thought there was a place you could store the gun in there. But I can't really see any area you would put the gun there. It just won't fit. There's no area to tab it in or keep it tabbed in or whatever. There's nothing there that you can actually... Um, tab that into so kind of weird kind of weird I thought there might have been a place but no there's nothing not a thing I'm sure I see one but anyway I'm rambling I'm rambling so that's been it so this has been all the, all the other accessories in the shot because you do get all the, this stuff with it so I may as well show that off so that has been KBBMP21 Plus Beetle Wasp. And it's basically just an oversized knockoff of Masterpiece Bumblebee, but without the spike um, exosuit. Like I said, they might bring that out at a later time. You might get a KO. You might get an original one. Uh, loose, but you'd have to pay scalp, eBay scalpers prices for it. I don't know. So, or they might bring one out on their own, uh, upscaled as well. You know, since this is an upscaled to. Oh, I forgot to show. Ah, did, did I show the upscale of it? To uh, it's basically a Voyager class size figure. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. It's actually I forgot to show that off. I think it's actually it's actually a Voyager class size figure this. So I don't know what the original Masterpiece Bumblebee was. It might have been Deluxe. But that's uh, equal to a Voyager size class size figure. Hold on. I'll, I'll do I'll, 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 I'll transform it and show you in case I forgot that bit. Right, here we go. Size comparison. I forgot earlier on, I think. Maybe I did it. I, I, it's getting tired. I'm getting tired now. It's getting late. So here he is ne next to Voy uh, Titan's Return Voyager 
class broadside. So he's a Voyager class size figure. You can see he stands about the same height as a Voyager class. Okay, that's that. Okay, so it's Voyager. I don't know what the original MP of the, this upscale is. Uh, whether it probably obviously do it smaller, so it probably would be deluxe or something. But this is Voyager class. Okay. So that's basically it for this. Uh, like I said, you if if you go for this, it probably will be cheaper than the proper masterpiece. Obviously, it's a KO upscaled. Uh, but and you are going to get bits that don't tab in as good as a masterpiece will tab in. Probably, probably masterpiece will tab in better. But it's just your preference. What you want, if you want to get this, get this. It's as good. It's good. It is good quality. But it just means bits, because it's KO, bits are not going to tab in, as it would be the case with the original Masterpiece one. It would probably tab in better. But it's, it's still not a bad figure. The off-putting thing is in two different kind of colours. You might not even see it pick up in this video, but the naked eye, you can pick up the two different colours, and it is more orange and it is yellow. I mean, again, the Masterpiece will be more yellow. Uh, but you do get two different colours compared to the metal parts and the plastic parts. You can see that difference. Uh, it's, it's a little bit it's noticeable. Put it that much. It's not completely different, <laughs> but it is, it is noticeable. So it's really up to your own self what you want, whether you're into third party figures or not. But that's me. I better go. I'm rambling on again as usual. And it's just up to yourself. Okay, so that's me. I don't know what any other figures I'll be getting at the moment. I've bought quite a lot with Trypticon and this and that uh, fantastic, uh, oh, what do you call that other figure? The Megatron one, the upscale one. So, Rensora, whatever you call it. I think it's Rensora, whatever you call it. Or whatever you call that thing. Uh, it's really cool. So, that's been it. Okay, thanks just thanks anyway. Thanks just now. Thanks. Bye.